between Carson and Mangle and Jake, I'm gonna lose my mind all at once. Don't joke about that, Freddy. It'll be okay. I mean, what's the worst thing that could happen? Hey. Hi. Yeah. Uh, welcome back. Thanks. Pina colada? Yeah, as usual. Here's a clownfish. I caught it. Oh, that's very nice of you. Thank you. Yeah, don't worry about it. So you're like, you're mad at me, right? Mm, not the word I would use. I'm not mad. How could I be mad? You told me what happened to him. I just, yeah, I just uh, thought it was like, you know, you, he, yeah, you know, like, I'm he was not, feeling bad. I'm not mad at you, and I know you're probably not just here to make sure that I'm not mad at you, but uh, I'm not. I'm mad at Bonnie. Yeah, I can imagine. Things have gotten worse. Way worse. And you probably know that. And I'm pretty sure you try to talk to him about how we're not so different. And like how I'm not that Freddy. And how if you knew what I was going to do. I, I literally, before he even came here, told him that he shouldn't come here at all. Because you're not the Freddy. You're not his Freddy. And I bet that's all he sees me as now. I think he saw it as this, that was his, his area is the possibility for the future for you. And he wants to make sure that that doesn't happen to everybody. Because it's pretty traumatic what happens to everybody, so he doesn't want that to happen to everybody. And he thinks, like, he went around and asked people, like, if you could stop Freddy before he, like, you know, went on a tyrant rampage, would you do it? So, like, you know, I think he was planning on coming to murder you. He pretty much was, but, you know, he so didn't he, do that. He didn't come as my friend. He came as some guy who wanted to murder me. He came wanting to see what the heck was going on here. But, you know, with the intention of if... Do you that? I... No, I don't really know what I believe anymore, dude. Things are crazy. I mean... I guess what I wanted, if I'm being honest, was my friend. And my friend came to kill me. And to warn me that if I ever did anything to hurt him, him then he would come and kill me. And if he had to kill me, he'd have to kill Carson, Foxy, Mangle, and everyone else here that's an animatronic. At that rate, by his logic, he should kill himself. Good point. But it's not about that. And I know he's been going through a lot, and I bet he's upset because he never knew how to deal with his emotions like me. And I still have everyone around here hating me. And Carson killed two puppets. And honestly, I guess what I wanted is to cry on my friend's shoulder. And my friend brought a gun to shoot me in the head with. Because he thinks I'm going to murder people that I love. I would never hurt Kat. I'd never hurt Lexi. I would never hurt I know. Jack. I think he saw it as that you're capable of doing it. And he doesn't want you to be capable of hurting everybody else. But, you He's, know, I don't... But, but by his own logic, isn't he the one hurting everyone in his universe that he's in? He, I know he doesn't directly cause it, and it's probably the other me's fault that bad things happen, and I could totally accept that. But by his own definition, he's doing bad things himself, and I bet he knows that. Yeah, I mean, he thinks he's not very, uh, I mean, he's been asking, too, like, do I do any good? It's like, yeah, I mean, comparatively to, like, a guy who has, like, giant armies and giant ships and, like, is totally evil and you have a tiny ship with a tiny crew and not a lot of guns. So you're telling me yeah. you could run the ship better? I'm telling you this, that no matter who's running the ship, it's where they're going against a guy who's been taking over the galaxy for over a decade. He's got the, the supplies and the manpower to take over and to destroy planets. What? I'm pretty sure going against that. How did yikes, I even you know? Do that? How did I even do that? I, you know what? It's pretty <laughs> impressive if you think back back on it, man. It was pretty, I mean, from outside perspective here, nothing to do with it. It was pretty impressive to watch. You watched? I mean, bro, I gotta, I didn't watch it. I kind of looked back and watched how the progression went. Oh, makes some more sense. It'd be really messed up if I just sat in back and was like watching. Pretty much, I'm pretty sure you'd like, the version of you there would like kill me. Like, you try to do with pretty much everybody else. So like. Why? I don't understand. Because he's crazy, bro. He's crazy. I always felt like I was grounded with morality. I think the thing he was doing the most was that, you know, 
he wanted to keep a sense of normalcy to not lose Bonnie. So to keep that normalcy, he wanted to make sure everything was okay, that there was no dangers. And to make sure his friends didn't leave him, he just made sure they could never leave him. That's kind of messed up to think about. But that's just his thought pro- I, I mean, you gotta think through his eyes. I can't be him, so I don't know for sure the full reason. But, you know, yikes. That's all I'm gonna say about that. But just know this, okay? Bonnie's really sad, too. And, you know, I think maybe eventually one of these days y'all should just, you know, sit down and kumbaya this. But I don't think that'll ever happen, to be quite honest. You guys are pretty much separate people now. If I go to that ship, though, I'll die. Yeah, I don't think he'll come back, but... Give him some time. He's just a little uh, upset at how things turned out. He said he left because of me, and I don't blame him for that. But I always thought he left for himself. And if he left just because of me, I just feel like he's not. I think there's I don't know. any reasons he left. I mean, I think he left one because of the fighting. Two, it's because you know, I think he wants adventure. I only fought on him because I thought he needed to grow up. Yeah. I thank you. Honestly, I know it would happen eventually. I'm not mad at you. I just Okay. Can you talk to Carson? Yeah, sure. He, I got your back. He killed two kids. Just <sighs> Okay, yeah. Hey, uh Jake, I know you're still working right now. I guess you're not in here. I know what I, I know what idea would affect everyone here. I can even even see in the beginning it was affecting Carson. He wanted to be more like me, and no one should want to be like me. You don't deserve to hide in fear of this place, thinking that I'm going to end up killing you when I get the chance, or Carson's going to get angry that you're fixing him, and then kill you. I understand if you want to leave. I understand if you ever want to look back at this horrid restaurant again. But I promise you, I would never hurt you. It's... I know that I hurt him. And if I'm capable of doing that, I'm probably capable of hurting you. But I would never intentionally do that. Now, wherever you are... Just know that I'll leave if you want me to. That doesn't solve the problem. But I don't want to make you feel that way. And I'd rather be gone than you try to be happy than you be scared of me for the rest of your life. How do I know that you're not going to break that promise? I guess you have to trust me. But how can I do that when... You can take everything away. You can make my endoskeleton weaker. Whatever you feel like is needed to have that trust. You could... If I do that, um, I won't be any better than Michael. That's not me. Everyone's afraid of me right now. It's just not you. And you're right. Carson killed two souls. They may have been released, but he did that without thinking and without hesitation because he was afraid, because he was hurting. And I gave him the impression that if he was hurting, it was an okay thing to do. You can scan through my memories. I don't see any problem with that. See if I have talked about ill intent towards you or anyone else at the restaurant. You could do a lot of things. I could leave, too. Just straight up, never come back, like Bonnie did. But I know that's not going to help the feeling you have. So, there's options there for you. If you want to leave, I won't hold it against you, and I won't try to keep you here behind some fake promise. All I will say, Jake, is you will be missed. Remember when you first told me you were a dead kid inside a suit and I said I would need time? Yeah. I think I'm going to need some time again. That 
that's fine. Could you please move? Oh, you were trying to get outside. The- I didn't know. I, I, sorry. It's. I didn't see you were walking. I was. It's fine. Yeah, understandable. Is it? I was looking down. Yeah. In yeah, fact, his arms look weird today. I mean, man, it's <gasps> real weird that, like, all this is happening, like, right now, you know? Yeah. It's like, yikes, you know? Like, I, I gotta, like, mop up so many messes right now, and this is, like, not helping me, so maybe we could all just calm down over on this front over here. So I can do my- hello? How you doing? Jake probably won't be back for the next week or two, maybe a month, I don't know. You may be here that's, now. That's fair. There's no Ooh, mess. that's what I'm gonna be There's no mess you gotta clean up, they were puppets. Oh no, I, I know there's not mess, but like, you know, mentally there's a mess going on over here. Like, yikes, there's a lot of, you know, relationship issues. Not that it's a big thing for me to like, you know, talk to you about it, like we're friends, but like, geez, like several places are like needing my help right now. It's like, yikes to me for like... Bob uh, needs you more than he needs me. I don't think he wants to talk to me, to be quite honest. Send your sister. Yeah, don't want to be around Dex, though. Uh, I don't know who this Dex is, but considering your tone, uh... I mean, he's not that bad of a guy, but he's just... He's an alien who looks like a goat, and he's, like, really into, like, hitting on girls. Derpy has and, standards. Like, yeah, I know, but, like, I don't want her to be, like, feel uncomfortable, you know? And I don't think he'd mean to make her uncomfortable, but it's like, I've... You know, like... Yeah, I never know the extent of what you can do, but I figured you could, like, take Bonnie somewhere else if you wanted to talk to him. Yeah, but then he gets freaked out. Like, if I just took you to a completely different place, suddenly, I think you'd be freaked out, too. <laughs> I think you'd kill me if that happened. But, um... Yeah, I get that vibe, yeah. I have that vibe to me. Just after everything. <laughs> Seems like that's everyone. <laughs> Time to die, Freddy. <laughs> yeah. But don't worry. I I mean it. While he may not appreciate it, you're not a bad person, and he does need you more than I'll ever need you emotionally. Thank you for coming by and helping me with everything, though. Yeah, we're still friends. And I'll still check in on you, because, you know, we are friends. But yeah, we had that conversation, Carson. Yeah. Stay chill. By the way, you got a new lava lamp for your lava lamp collection. We're thinking about, like, adding a shelf up there, but we're afraid people will think they're prizes. I need a place for these. Yeah, we need to get a place for these. Maybe I shouldn't have started with the lava lamps, but, you know, they were, like, a fun thing to do. I like them. No, Lexi likes them, too, so I'll give her something to look at when she comes in. I'll maybe find her- I'll get Derby to make a room somewhere. Dude. Maybe down there. We can have, like, a side room. Yes, like, in it- Okay. Oh, yeah. I'll get Derby to work on that, then. <laughs> a big room. Yeah. Just full of lava lamps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the weird lamp that was on the ground. All right, well, I'll talk to you guys later then. Good luck with all this mess, but you know, I'm still here if you need me. Hey, it's our mess. We'll clean it up. Thank you, though. Getcha. Laters. Thank you. Oh. Uh. You know, I'd be more weirded out if I literally didn't travel through a portal to go talk to a bunch of idiots every day. That's fair. Did the talk help? Yeah. I'm glad. Me too. Uh, you know, I talked to Jake too, and I think it'll be okay. The only person I haven't really talked to about anything is Alexi. Yeah. You're gonna be okay though, Carson, right? Yeah, I'll be fine. I just gotta think to myself for a bit later. Why is there a bed in here, Carson? I don't know. First it was that lamp, and now it's this bed. Now, Carson, if you're sleepwalking, you have to tell me. I don't think I can sleep, Freddy. I do. I have dreams. Uh. More like nightmares. Uh, sorry to hear that. No, I haven't... No, I'll talk to you about it. Uh, I'm a kid in my dreams. Uh. And you guys are there. But it's like you guys' personalities are switched. And, uh, seems like I always make myself out to take punches from everybody. 
Bonnie's in my dream sometimes. Huh. How does that usually go, then? He leaves. Huh. And after he leaves, um, soon after I get woken up, he tells me that no one will ever care about me and that he never did. And then he leaves. Hmm. <laughs> So, with everything that we're going through right now, I know uh, it's not going to get better immediately. Yeah. But I'm always here to try to understand, Carson. Okay. Same goes for you, Freddy. Okay? You, if you want, call me Jeremy. I know Freddy rolls off the tongue easier. Okay. Okay. 